dog named Koopa. Okay then, let's press the start button again. All right, here we go. This hopefully is recording. There's the boy. Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, what is this place? He's already famous? Donkey Kong! Yo, Donkey Kong! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Bro! Brother. Yo, Luigi sounds good. <laughs> oh. Bowser is coming. Together we Oh, she's wearing her Mario Kart outfit. Yoshi's during it. They're all counting on us. What is that? War pipes? No pressure. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Mario Kart. Rainbow Road. Whoa, what the fuck? Why is there so many of them? Was that Funky Kong? Yeah, the Mario movie looking great. Still don't know where. Well, the story it seems like it's just Bowser taking. That Luigi actually got kidnapped because we see him in Bowser's hands in the trailer and stuff. So maybe they were rescue Luigi and obviously save the world, stop him from conquering the world. So I can see this being a pretty simple story, nothing too complicated. Is it? It is a kids movie after all. So, but yeah, the world looks. Everything just looks good. A whole race of Kongs, a whole race of Toads, race of everything. Like a lot of world building in this Mario world, which I didn't really. Well, I guess they pretty much have to if they're making a whole movie. But still, it's still amazing to see it. Never really see it in any of the games other than some storybook, some story. RPG games like the Mario and Luigi games or whatever. But the voice acting, Bowser still sounds good. Luigi sounds good. Charlie Day as Luigi sounds good. It fits him like super well. Cause like it, it you can hear Charlie Day's voice, but like it fits well with Luigi, but with Chris Pratt's voice. Chris, Chris, I don't know. They chose wrong with Chris Pratt to be honest. Chris Pratt just sounds generic as hell, and I don't know. Just doesn't fit for Mario. They should have, they should have just got Charles and done the actual, not the actual Mario voice, but like I don't know, whatever. Just he would have done better when, than whatever this is, what Chris Pratt is doing right now for Mario. And Peach, Peach is fine to be honest, but I don't know, she's kind of generic as hell too. But it fits her at the same time. I don't know. Because I feel like I see these kind of, I hear these voices in other movies, this Hollywood um, damsel and distressed voice actor or whatever or some shit, I don't know. You hear this in so many other movies, it's like, we heard it, done it, seen it, seen it, heard it before, nothing really special with this Peach voice, but she's fine though. I think it still works for her. But for Mario, it's just like, no, it's... You, Peach can kind of get away with it because with it, she's not like the main character. She's close to the main character, I guess, but it looks like, 40 years. like Chris Pratt and it just doesn't fit. Whereas Charlie as Luigi fits perfectly for Luigi. They picked right for that one. Toads are good too. 
they altered his voice. Um, Ke Ke Keegan, I forgot his name, Keegan Michael Key or whatever. They changed up his voice and stuff to fit uh, the Toad's voice and all that. And it works too. And Bowser, of course, sounds good. We've seen it from the first trailer and he still sounds good. In, the, in this scene where he's confronting Luigi, everything sounds good so far except for just Mario and Peach. Mario, Dad, Peaches, whatever, and everyone else is just good. We still haven't heard Donkey Kong though. I wanted to hear Donkey Kong, man. Why are they not letting us hear Donkey Kong speak? Unless he doesn't talk a lot about but he's, I don't know, he's there. And just a lot of references to the other games too. Like, you can see that they're having powers, like Mario having the Tanuki, the Tanuki suit or whatever. And the Fire Flowers, the Peach in her Fire Custom too, she's also wearing that. A whole field of Fire Flowers. She even, she even mentions that there's a whole universe out there, a lot of galaxies to save or whatever. So I wonder if Rosalina is going to make a, a cameo in this. And there's Yoshis too. Yoshis are confirmed. I don't know if they were confirmed before, but they are now for sure. Also, when Luigi's getting sucked into his warp pipe, is he wearing the vacuum? So is, is there going to be like a Luigi's Mansion moment in the movie? I hope so, because that'll be, that'll be sick as hell. Maybe we'll see Egad in it too. And this Mario Kart scene. So it looks like it's just a bunch of Kongs. So I guess the whole race of Kongs racing with them. Along with Donkey Kong, Peach, Toad, and Mario. So it's not a whole bunch of different characters, but still cool. Funky Kong was also at the back too. At least I think it's Funky Kong. He's, it's the Kong is wearing the same glasses as uh, Funky Kong. But what makes me think it's not actually Funky Kong is just a, it's cut. But yeah, there's this Kong wearing the same shades, and then this Kong over here wearing the same shades as hell. There's also this weird, this weird looking Kong here too. So. Pretty interesting that they have a whole uh, race of Kongs. I mean, I don't think we ever seen a whole race of Kongs in any other media for the Mario franchise. So that's pretty cool. Wahoo. Also, Ma Chris Pratt's Wahoo was so weak, so weak, man. They did, they chose wrong with Chris Pratt, man. I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they heard. They just want the, they just want the money. They saw. It looks like they saw a big, they just wanted a big name to sell their movie, that's all it is. That's, he's just filling in his role. This is just another paycheck for Chris Pratt. I don't hear no passion from his voice. Same with Peach too, but I don't know, she's alright. But Mario is just, it's just the worst case for Mario. But now we just have to hear Donkey Kong. I think that's the next main one we need to hear. Donkey Kong and Cranky Kong. I think we saw Cranky Kong at the beginning. During the battle arena, oh, he was wearing like some throne thing. I don't, I don't know if that's the same. I don't know if that's Cranky Kong sitting there. Could be though. But I need to hear his voice. Donkey Kong <laughs> was murking Mario though. If that was real life, he would've been dead on the spot, right there. That's a big ass gorilla you're trying to fight with destroyed yeah could be could be cranky Kong. he has like a whole crowd and everything too so he's like a king of the koopas Ko not koopas king of the apes and look at all these enemies too like Let's, let's see how all the enemies. So we got your Koopa Troopas, uh, various colors, red, gr uh, green, yellow, blue. Oh, Buzzy Beetles, Piranha Plants. We got Shy Guys, Goombas, Sumo Bros. I think I saw Supers, the bats. bob they're in it too. Got the Bowser statues. They probably shoot lasers just like in Mario Bros. 3. Piranha just ate someone. There's so many of them. So many, so many things to look at. Not sure if you know who I am. Gotta go 
frame by frame it's all kind of blurry so it's hard to see it when it's like far out but definitely they're definitely bringing a lot of enemies out here which is good as I saw a spiny shell they're out spiny shell and we got bonsai bills they're probably gonna be bullet bills for their cannons and all that too we saw a mock-up of a bo uh, bonsai bill or bullet bill when Mario's practicing his obstacle course which is weird Peach is training Mario training Mario through an obstacle course I guess so I guess Bowser has these traps in his like land or whatever and Mario was just trash at it he couldn't he couldn't beat it I can't find a scene where he's practicing somewhere out there though we're adorable yeah this part yeah so she's probably teaching him how to handle all these obstacle courses that Bowser has and he fails miserably and then there's the mock-up bonsai bill yeah that's a bonsai bill with the teeth at the bottom so donut blocks he drops and Peach is like the fuck you doing and he's cheap cheats bro bro look at that I'm gonna die and then they're gonna use a one-up mushroom who knows I can see that right now one like maybe Luigi will die and then Mario will arrive him with a one of or something. No pressure. Poison mushrooms too. So many things, so many like different power-ups and things they can use for this movie. They're using, they're even using Mario Kart. They're probably gonna put in some sports stuff in it. Maybe. Or maybe for the sequel, I don't know. And also those kart designs looking kind of wild too, like, geez. Is this hinting for like a Mario Kart 9 on how crazy we can build, uh, customize our carts? Like look, look all of these boost, like these boost, uh, some of them have like these crazy boosters. Oh no. It's almost like, oh, what do you call those? It's like, it's like, they all, they're all suited up for like attacks too. Like these, this, uh, this Funky Kong one has like missiles and stuff. The Donkey Kong has these barrels that looks like, the, um, they're probably going to boost them and whatever. I don't know. It looks like. Am I, am I looking too hard into this? Like, is this hinting for like how the next Mario Kart is gonna be? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going, I'm thinking too much. I'm getting too excited thinking about it because that would be actually really sick if done properly. But yeah, that's the Mario movie. Pretty excited. Let me watch the whole thing again. Everything, like visually, everything just looks great. I think Mario looks fine. I'm getting used to these designs and stuff. They all look fine. Donkey Kong looks great though. Toads look great. Peach is alright. <laughs> Holy. The voices. Mario is just not great. Peaches is alright and everyone else is great. Luigi is great. Bowser is great. Toad's great. Kamek is great from, from what we've seen in the first trailer. The story looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Looks like it can be funny. Luigi's going to be funny for sure. I, I already know. Just from that one scene alone, he's going to be great. Peach is probably going to be boring as hell. Maybe. I don't know. It, Peach is just following that same trope again the boss bitch type of trope or whatever she can do anything she wants or something she can handle her stuff I don't know we've seen that so many times so she's gonna be all right I don't know and yeah I think it's gonna be it was gonna be a good time still I'm gonna I'm, I'm pretty excited for that I think it's gonna be good I don't I can't see it being like terribly bad unless like the story is just like all over the place and things just doesn't make sense but We'll just have to find out in April next year, 2023. It's not too far. It's like a four month wait, I think. Yeah, it's not too far. Yeah, I think that's it though. I'm looking forward to it. But change Chris Brad. Give, give him. It's not too late to change Chris. Uh, change the voice actor for Mario though. Please. Please. <laughs>